Hey guys, and welcome to, well, an update video. Well, this is kind of an odd one. To the fact that I have, well, new audio settings. I hope you guys like them. Let's see. Ah, yes, Might and Magic. Specifically, Might and Magic 678 Merge. I have done a bit of a boo-boo with the Let's Play. I have forgotten the fact that... I just, well, I did a boo-boo in the fact that, uh... That you can actually buy black potions in Blackshire. So I, I unintentionally and accidentally... Restarted the entire LP, so it'll take me some time to restart the LP, uh, restart the playthrough again, just to get up to the, you know, the, you know, to, well. You'll know when, when the, uh, you, you'll be able to tell, you'll be able to tell. You will be able to tell when I stop. Don't worry about it. I will stop at the Free Haven Fountain near the docks. That's when I stop, and I and I realize that I, you know, druids can actually make black potions for free. But you can actually get enough money in the game to where you don't have to build a, build a druid. You know, you can just buy them. You can just buy black potions from in Blackshire. It's like, huh? What? You know, it's it's kind of weird, though. So now I'm just going to have to restart the entire playthrough again. Well, it's kind of good in the fact that it gives me it gives me a chance to, you know, update the mod. Update gives me a chance to update my, you know, installation thing. You know, that kind of thing. You know, I have to, so that way you don't have to see me. Going like, oh, hey, that's a bug. When in actual, in actuality, I, you have to start a new game in order to get that feature. You know, it's like, huh? So yeah, don't worry. We'll have the same party, same people, and everything. Same per portraits, same voices, same character names, same everything, except for the equipment, which is actually just completely randomized. You know, you know how this works. Yeah, you know how Might and Magic works. It's completely randomized every single time. Except for the layout. Which the layout actually is actually randomized in you know, same games like Diablo. But I only play that game in like my spare time. I don't actually play that. I, I don't think I'll actually play that on the channel. Due to the fact that... Let's just stop there. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, Might and Magic. What I'll be doing after Might and Magic 6 is finished. What I'll be doing after Might and Magic 6 is finished is the fact that I'll give Might and Magic a break, I guess. Do something else, like Thief, the Dark Project, or, or System Shock, or whatever. Specifically, System Shock 2. I might play that. Since I have already played through that game entire in its entirety in the in my recent past before I started let's playing, yeah, I already know what to do. I already know where everything is. I already know what the mods to install everything, so we might play that next, yeah in regards to the the first game i'll wait for the I'll wait for the remake. I will wait for the remake. I am willing to give these guys a chance to impress me with this with this system this system shot game. It's already looking good with the graphics graphical wise. Graphically wise. Yeah. Just make it better. Redesign the layout. You don't have to keep things the way they originally were.
Hmm? People are expecting a total remake of the entire game. Not the exact same thing. So. Kind of like the, you know, the Resident Evil 2 remake. How they did an excellent job with that. And I watched several Let's Plays of that. Of the same person. So. Yeah. And no, I'm not a very big Resident Evil fan because that was before my time, before I was born. And yeah. I probably wasn't old enough to play it. You know, that kind of thing. So yeah. I wasn't probably old enough to play it because I was, you know... I was born around in the nineteen ninety, the early nineteen nineties. I wasn't around. I wasn't old enough to play those kind of games, like Super Metroid or anything like anything like that, because I just wasn't old enough. I just didn't. I just couldn't. You would, would you? Would, you know. You know these people just expect a lot of things, and they just. And you just can't with some with some of these younger people. They 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 blame them for everything. With but they but you really can't blame them, blame the younger people because they really don't can't couldn't have played those older games unless they were born earlier than the nineteen nineties. So yeah. That is my opinion on the matter. You really can't blame people for for the date they were born. You really can't. Yeah. Hell, I know my brother played Resident Evil 2. I know he did because he played the original. I I know you I know him telling me about it. So, yeah. Yeah, I know of him telling me about it, but I never really got into the series. <sighs> yeah. So anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video we're in anyways on to the well besides that the um the um dungeon siege overhaul stuff i will get back to that but just not the at this time because it's kind of a stressful thing to do modding i i, I understand what these modders are going through it's really stressful just to just to you know, change a variable, change a variable, change a variable, change a variable. For weeks on end. That's all you're freaking doing. Changing variables. And it's... Mind sapping. It's energy sapping. It takes away your maximum energy. It saps it away. Basically. you feel like you don't have the energy to do anything anymore. And I, and, I, and I understand why they just go on these hiatuses and don't finish their mods. They just just want, want them to get done. My only advice is just get it done. And you will feel very happy afterwards. Don't take any shortcuts. Don't do anything like that. Just get it the hell done. On that note, the Dungeon Siege overhaul will be 
for my basically my summer break I think where I go on I don't know well my spring break I think not summer break but spring break where I usually around this time around April 9th where I just I'm gonna make this a usual thing I usually do where I just to go on this hiatus for for about a month you just you know relax Take my time, get away from the channel, you know, that kind of thing. And sometimes YouTubers need that. They need a chance to get away from the, you know, the constant compressing, wait, waiting for the video to compress. It has nothing to do with the viewers themselves. It has nothing to do with you guys. It, nothing at all. I, I, I like you guys. We all like you guys. It's the constant, you know, having to wait for the video to stink and compress. That's annoying. That that wants us to stop. That that makes us want to stop, you know. It's the constant annoyance. If you get my meaning. But if you just look past it and you really, really try hard to do what you think is best for what you want to do or, you know, for anything like, say, modding or YouTubing or whatever, you can get through it with enough determination. I want to do YouTubing. I honestly do. But the fact that, hell, it's it's wreaking havoc on my energy because I, I'm not sleeping good at night because I'm always worried about stuff like, you know, oh my God, is someone, you know, oh my goodness, is someone actually going to, well get upset and throw a fit or and or is someone going to unsubscribe or is someone going to start something and these are the constant things we have to worry about on our, uh, if you have to start if you want to start start youtubing and so many other things so so many other things that ro that ro rotate around in your head constantly you can't let that get to you. Sure, you can acknowledge that that those possibilities are there, but you can't let them get to you. You cannot let them get to you. Otherwise, they'll they'll just eat you up. They'll just eat you up inside. You have to. You have to. Sometimes some people just have to psych themselves up to, to just start you start just as you know re record one video and that's something that that's shameful if you're psyching your if you have to psych yourself up prep yourself up in order to do one video then you're doing something wrong with your life usually i just do my videos in batches but the reason, for my reason, I don't have the internet to do it. I just don't have this awesome internet service that just allows me to post thousands of videos for a per minute. Or, yeah, I know I'm exaggerating, but exasperating or whatever. Exaggerating, you know. But you, you, you have to, you have to, you have to keep your strength and you have to, well, you just have to say to yourself, if it's something, if it's anything 
that's from your past or you, you if you're worried about something in the future. The past is the past is all I have to say. Don't worry about that. That stuff's over and done with. If you're worried about what something might happen, whatever happens, happens. That's all you have to worry about. That's all you have to that's all you have to think about. Whatever happens, happens. And well, there you have it. And the thing is, well, we now have 4K videos. Yeah. I can now record my videos in 4K. And well, that's a good that's a good thing. And also a slightly bad a slightly bad thing because you know the U some UI of old games tends to shrink. Sorry about that. Since tends to shrink. It's like Is that a J or a K? You know? And, well, yeah. So anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. We're in... I will be... Hopefully posting... Something, actually. Alright, so. To catch up on all my latest adventures and exploits, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Remember, as always... Game on. And, well, thanks for listening to my, well, first ramble video about news. Later.